son of a... Hey everyone, it's your favorite hero from Heroes Evolve Moon. Today we'll become even better players in Heroes Evolve, so please join me on that journey and subscribe to the channel today. For all of those already subscribed, thank you so much. We're reaching 1000 faster and faster. Today we're going to the core of all gameplay, the number one win condition for any match. It's of course the economy. A lot of times people talk about snowballing, that's simply put, falling behind too much on ego to ever recover. The enemy becomes so strong you cannot fight back and get back into the game and you end up losing. So, Eco. This game is all about outplaying your enemies both as a team as well as a solo player. To do that you need to maximize every single piece of gold you can get. In this guide we'll go over the most important Eco income, the minions. So you may notice that early game you get less gold per kill than in late game. Well everybody knows that. That is because the number changes every single minute apart from some exceptions. Check this out, if you take a look at the figure I'm putting on the screen, you can see this. Now, how are we going to utilize this? Well, we're going to use three simple steps. First of all, make sure you get each and every single last hit on a minion. Getting last hits gives you 25% more gold and it does make such a big difference. It may seem easy, but as many of you know, it's definitely difficult at some times. As multiple minions are attacking a target at once, just keep in mind that they deal about 40 damage. Check that with the amount of damage that you're dealing. And now, almost nobody does this, but what you should do is check the health of the minion you're targeting in the top of your screen. It's pretty obvious. Once that amount falls or is about to fall below your damage, attack to ensure that last hit. Happy hunting, guys. Number two has to do with another mechanic, which is the timer. You can see that thing counting up there, well, legend has it that it counts the time that has passed since the start of the battle. Whoa. I know right? Well listen up, every minute the eco rewards get bigger, and therefore it's smart to take a look at that timer when you're killing creeps. Killing a minion just after the minute marker gives you more eco. That is of course after 2 minutes and before 10 minutes as you can see in the figure. The third tip is, do not waste time. I see this in ranked matches even, people are just waiting for the next wave of minions, but jungle isn't worth enough to let someone solo that. So go get it while you're waiting, do something! You cannot go sitting around on your fat ass, you need to get stuff done if you wanna win this match. If you wanna become a better player, go jungle, participate in team fights, kill the dragon when it spawns. Every second you are not getting eco, someone else is. You cannot miss a single wave of minions, as this means that you're losing 300 eco in the early game, 75 times 4, to 540 eco in the late game. And once that snowball starts rolling, you already know, do not fall behind, do use these tips and become a better player today. Let people gaze at the amazing amounts of eco you can gather in a short time, make sure to send them over to this channel right here. Make sure to let them subscribe for more tips and fun gameplays. I love you guys. This will be Moon once again. I will see you in the next video, right? Right. Peace out.